Over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter. Now, Basil's going to be doing a workshop tomorrow, folks, from 4 to 5.30 for all his newsletter subscribers. It's very easy to be a newsletter subscriber so you can get in this workshop, really learn about the, a lot about the market, learn a lot about the Chapman Wave. The way you do this, you just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the opening call right under featured content. You're just going to hit subscribe. You can get into the opening call and the newsletter and the workshop for $149 for one month, $695 for six months, where you save $199 or 22%. Uh, you can get it for a year for $1,195 and save $593 for the full year. Now, what happens, folks, is this, is that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go check it out. You can get the newsletter, get a great newsletter, get in the workshop tomorrow. If it works for you, 30 days from now, guess what? You know, bottom line, if it doesn't work for you, you can just say, I want a refund. You get a full refund, no questions asked. Basil has a lot of other workshops right on the webpage, which is Dynamite. And of course, you know, he does an amazing workshop. That's going to be tomorrow, 4 to 5.30. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. And thank you for doing my show yesterday. I appreciate it. Pleasure, as always. Um, this is going to be, I think, timing-wise, this is good because we're at the cusp. This is really important. One of the reasons why I want to do this workshop is for some time now we've been raising cash because um, I, I've, I have not liked the shorter-term aspect to the market. The monthly charts, I'll talk about that in a moment. But what I want to do is to say what needs to go right technically, We, you know, we, we Geopolitically and all that, that's beyond us. But what what, go, what can the market do? What does it have to overlook? So these are all the technical aspects that I'd be looking for for higher prices. So um, basically, you know, even from we've been discussing for you know for ages, I look for a lowest low bar. I count E successively peak. I alphabetize them A through G, but it's at the fourth highest peak. Peak D that other things can happen. Well, just have a look here. You got the Dow. Makes a peak D all time high at 36,952, and a sauce has declined from the, the 5th of January. It has this rally just recently to about uh, the um, March the 24th or so. It goes to 35,372 to a peak D. If you look at the SP, where did it turn around? The fourth high, where did I type that? Whoops, typed in the wrong place. There it goes. I type it in and I give you an S&P at this particular point. 46.37 was the high at peak D. Just That was also August around about the 28th. And here it is at 43.90, just underneath the 200 period moving average. These are all very simple techniques that I'm going to be teaching. But here's one that I think is absolutely uh, critical. And I'll just show you this right here. So this is the the uh, big question I have is, is it possible for the stock market to make new all-time highs in 2022? This was... I actually set it up. I spoke to Tommy about this before there was even talk about uh, Russia and Ukraine. But what I was looking at is what would be the technical aspects? And let me just show you something here. This is, this is always a shocker to me when I show it. You see this green line right here, one of the techniques yes. that I'll be teaching. So this is 2010, February. At, the S&P was at 1,100. It's hard to believe that even with that 35% decline, that was a two-month decline, February, uh, January, February of um, into March low, back in 2020. Yes, it is still green. Not once has it turned pink. Pink is usually negative. Green is positive, and that's a technique that I'll be showing. So it means that even with the most recent 14% decline in the S&P from the 48.18 all-time high in January of this year. Here we are, green, and the prices at this particular point are still above the green line. So, no, no, are, Basil, tell me what that green line is again. So, this is the nine-period exponential moving average. I see. Okay. When it crosses, when yep. it crosses the I slow of fourteen. Okay. Yep. I, I mean, I wouldn't believe every time I look at it, I say, how could that be? How could it have been in that massive decline, thirty-five percent? Uh, back in uh, 2020, that is still remained green. So this is the very long-term perspective that I like to give it. But here's something else. There's a, there's a particular way of looking at it 
Uh, this is the S&P again. This goes all the way back to 1998. There was a little mini minus 22%, not mini, but it was a minus 22%. It looks mini because of the chart until uh, the high that was made at 2000. And my question, based on the MAGD, the moving average convergence, divergence, and the st slow stochastic, is those things match very well that particular decline in 1998. Is there a chance that we do continue the consolidation a little longer, but in 2022, we start to move higher, and could we move up for about another year? And that's another, that's a big question that I'll be dealing with. So those are very important, as well as, for instance, today, I, I like to do things live, because that's really, to me, the big test is, it's all very well, looking back, 2020, in hindsight, everybody's perfect, but it's in real time. So what I was discussing is that for, for subscribers, we have some stocks that are, are testing highs at this particular time. And I said, you know what, this looks to me like the, uh, when I did my show this morning at 10, uh, 10 o'clock, my, my the Tiger Technician's Hour, I said, look at this, at 9 o'clock, the S&P ran up to a high around about the 46, I think 59 area. And then I said, as we're coming on the air, look at the difference between the MACD, the moving average convergence, a divergence, and the stochastic here at 9 o'clock. And look at 10 o'clock. It's much weaker. Well, it turns out that that was the top of the day at uh, 44.6675. And here we are. We've just made a little low at 43.70. We're at 43.85. And look at the 200 period, how it was fantastic support for so long. This is the pink line here. And look out for support, and then it became resistance. So these are very simple tools. I want to include them. I'm not just going to give a webinar where I say, this is what we are looking to buy because we've raised cash. We're going to be looking to put money to use. At the same time, I'm not, I'm not, I could quite easily also go short. There's no, no problem with that. But I'm saying there are positions, and especially in the uh, commodity area, um, that we have. I mean, you were just speaking in a moment ago about the dollar. We've been long the dollar since 90.07 back in 2018 in a very long-term move that went all the way to 102.99, plunged again to 89.21. And here it is, back at 100 at par. It's amazing. And I'll talk about the rectangle formations, how the narrow rectangle formations have a certain duration at a certain point. If it breaks to the upside, it's very good. But if it just keeps going that way, you've got to caref be careful that it won't break down. So here we are at new recovery highs. If you look at the dollar in the very long term, you can see there's a very big rectangle formation. And that just says <laughs> the dollar is the currency in demand right now. If you look at the uh, the DBA, we, we, we've been along the commodity area for a very long time. I talk about these double tops in the rectangle formation. And look what happened. It went to 22.64. This is the DB Agriculture Fund. It went to test the 22.64 high that was made in March. And we just broke to the upside. So some of these are really simple tools that I'll be teaching. But at the same time, we're going to be looking at for subscribers who, who people who join, they'll be able to look at my work and say, hey, these are the stocks that we're looking at. Where do we start putting money to work? And it's going to be really fascinating. And it's very easy to get into, folks. Go to TFNN. You're going to see the opening call right on that front page. Hit that button and you are off to the races. Bows, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.